This fresh espresso tastes a whole lot better above 500,000 subs, let me tell you. So I was browsing YouTube and I stumbled upon this channel called Teaching Men's Fashion. And I thought to myself, hey, I'm a man and I like fashion. What does this guy have to teach me? Not only does Jose Zuniga teach you how to dress, he teaches you how to acquire females. And I say acquire females because that's the type of energy that we're dealing with. You know, those guys that refer to women as females? Yeah, that. <laughs> the man is an absolute wizard when it comes to just dominating life. He has a wife, he's got lots of money, he wakes up early to start his day while you're doing nothing, sleeping like a little sheep, puss boy. Anyways, I don't wanna bore you with the details. Let's jump into the video. Seven power moves every guy should know. Power moves, an action that asserts dominance over someone or reverts a perceived power dynamic. Why do I feel like if I text this number, I'm going to be ass blasted, completely inundated with automatic responses like, sup king, you ready to dominate your day and claim what's yours? It's time to be alpha. Without causing any real harm. You heard that boys? Uh, yeah, I heard that. That's the behavior equivalent of a bicep flex. Today, you know it's a power move, this shoulder shrug, working out the traps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to flex your behavioral biceps without harming anyone by showing you seven power moves all men must know. I don't know what it is with people that wear medium shirts flexing their biceps. So when you deploy them, well, let's just say so much testosterone is gonna fuel your body, you're gonna walk out of that building like the rock. Testosterone. Quite honestly, Jose, I don't wanna walk like that. It looks quite painful. Coming from someone who's had hemorrhoids, it looks like something is wedged in your ass cheeks. Second of all, why are we looking up to The Rock? The man has been lying about the Hollywood juice pack for years now. He's got no respect from the third eye of truth. We got a fake natty in the Hollywood limelight. Get out of here. I don't wanna be like that. So whatever girl you wanna steal with, yeah, she'll go with you. What does that even mean? Whatever girl you want to steal with? What? I try to keep up with the lingo, but sometimes I swear it's just, it's too hard for me. I don't know what's going on. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, I want you to pick up the tab. Pick up the check. This right here is the ultimate power move. You see, most people fear away from the check or they just act dumb when they see it coming and at best will say, oh, yo, let's split it. Your power move, if you're with the client, or business meeting, or with people you wanna impress like girls, I want you to pick up the tab as you see it coming and not even hesitate. Whoa, whoa, okay, big shot. What if you go out to dinner with like nine people and they all order surf and turf, flame yawns, and take shots of Louis the 13th? You're gonna say, oh yeah, I got the tab, give me that shit. Power move, you just go into crippling debt, but uh, it's a power move, I'm an alpha male. Uh. You can really elevate this power move by excusing yourself from the table early, getting the waitress so he can run your card before the tab even makes it to the table. That way when everybody's done, everybody's done eating, you can be like, all right guys, let's, let's head out. They're gonna be like, yo, yo, where's the tab? Where's the tab? You're gonna be like, it's all right. I got it covered, we're good. I mean, he's right. I've pulled this one before. All you gotta do is go, listen, I have to take a monster shit. A big brown stinky duty in the bathroom, okay? I'll be right back. And then you get up and you just slip the waiter your card. Power move! Poof. Explosions! Power move! Explosions! Bang! Power move! Jeez! Number two, I call this one the power handshake. Most guys give this weak handshake that's embarrassing and timid. Yeah, I've gotten a few of those, you know, the, the dead fish, the sloppy tuna. No, nobody wants that dangly bullshit. That other guy you gave that weak handshake to will completely overpower you with his mind because he knows he's dealing with a beta. I don't even want those thoughts to go in somebody else's mind when they're shaking your hand. So what I want you to do is give any other dude a powerful handshake. I'm about to overpower this man with my mind. Completely shift the power dynamic of this social interaction with a powerful handshake. Hey, betas, no, not a thing on this channel. And so what I want you to do is give any other dude a powerful handshake. And the way you do that is with your index finger. You heard me right. 
the index finger. You see, when you go for a handshake, you wanna keep your index finger pointed out so they can't fully grasp your hand. I totally see where he's coming from on this because when I meet people, I like to show them how much I've been working on my grip strength. I like to take my hand and crush their brittle bones. Look at the fucking size of this hand, okay? Look at the size of this. It's a goddamn baseball mitt, okay? Just break that shit. Show them that you're alpha. Power move. You guys want to see a real power move? So you're at the dinner, right? You get your fresh espresso, but you finished it already because you're a goddamn alpha male. You get the ice, the leftover ice, you go. <laughs> I swear to God, if someone gives me a handshake like that where they put their finger and I feel it resting on my wrist, I'm snapping that shit off. Oh, sorry. Now, if you want to do a real kill shot, this is like, this is like the ultimate power move. Like, if you don't think this is enough, go more. I want you to go in for the same handshake and then with your other hand, put it on his shoulder and just bring him in slightly. This right here, you just turned this man into your beta. You're basically saying, come here boy, I'm the captain now. This is not normal human behavior. Stop it. Life is not this battle royale where it's every man for himself and dudes are trying to get one up on you by shaking your hand firmly. Not everyone is a psychopath. How come all of this alpha dominance bullshit is so not self-aware that it just comes off as gay. Like this looks very homoerotic, right? And it's not what he's trying to achieve. I wouldn't do this. Come here, boy. Get over here, boy. Also, no dude thinks more than about two seconds about the social interactions that they just had. Do you know how many bullshit social interactions take place throughout the course of one's life? You know, you're at a bar and you meet some other dudes and you have to pretend to be nice. Meanwhile, you have nothing in common. You're not gonna remember their name and you're never going to see them again and nothing you say or do will have an impact on their life. Every social interaction with strangers or new people can be summed up like this. Yeah, my name's Phil, what's up? Oh, I went to college over there, majored in communications. What about you? Oh, finance? Dope, dude. Oh, you like numbers and charts and shit? Sick. Anyways, you want another beer? You want me to up that one more time? All right, this is your final power move. Subscribe to this channel and you're gonna receive a lifetime of power moves that's gonna make you a confident beast. Oh, dude, I got you, don't worry. Three, take care of yourself. Scenario, you get lucky, you're getting undressed. Girl sees you that you're fully groomed down here and up here, power move. You see, I disagree on this one. A real power move would be to go full Amazon Tarzan bush down there. I'm talking woolly mammoth. Why would you give a second thought as to what another person thinks about your pubes? This sentence has never left a woman's mouth. Oh my god, I hooked up with this guy and he had a perfect landing strip. I mean, his pubes were amazing. Four, the off the menu order. This right here, I call it the ultimate date power move. Picture this, you just sat down with your girl, this is your first date on a dinner date, and this is her hundredth time sitting on a first date with a guy, so there's nothing new going on so far. So, you guys sit down, and after a few seconds of both of you looking at the menu, you all, all of a sudden put it down and say this to her. You know what, this isn't on the menu, but they do this thing here, and then fill in the blank. That one move right there, now all of a sudden you're this mysterious new, knows all types of secrets type of guy. No, you just have to make the waiters and chefs work harder to accommodate your order. It's not really a power move. Talk about power move. She's gonna be wondering how you're so well connected. I guarantee you she is not going to think that. Number five, research. I call it friend recon. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna talk to her best friends, DM them, text message them, whatever it is, and be like, yo, what is Ashley or Emily, what do you guys like to do or what has she been wanting to do with you guys lately? And if they tell you that she wants to go to that new art museum or try that new coffee shop or see that new movie, well, you got your answer. When you take her there, power move. That's not a power move. That's just finding out her interests by not communicating with her about what they are. Like, I'm a little lost. Six, abandon your day job. Yeah, fuck your career. Who needs financial stability anyway? There is no stronger power move than submitting your resignation to your boss and saying that you are now your own boss. Now, you gotta do this smartly, of course. You wanna start your passion project now and work on it after hours. That means after work, work on it every night. It's gonna be a lot of hustling, right? But sooner or later, that passion project is gonna start generating revenue. And when it does, and it starts generating revenue enough to pay your basic expenses, that's when you submit your resignation. Jose, how am I supposed to buy everyone dinner when I don't have a job, buddy? And finally, number seven, know more than they do. Information is power. Number seven, be smart. 
That's really all there is to it, guys. <laughs> the only thing that can save these pseudo alpha male types is a reality check. Hey, Philly, I pulled up, fuck your bitch. Anybody wanna run up, put them all up in the ditch. Puss boys, no go, better back up quick. You punk, don't fly, bitch. You ain't shit.